Awesome. Um, so welcome everyone. Uh, today I will say has been a long time in the making. We are really excited to walk you through the new localfirst.com. Um, I'm going to let our marketing director speak more to how this has come to be, but we are just really excited to be launching this tool for you, alongside you, um, and getting up and running. But before we begin, I do want to make sure that folks know who we have here, who's going to be helping us walk through the website. Um, so we've got Mika Stout, who is our marketing director here at Local First. Um, we also have Jenny Schumacher, who is a new addition to our team. She's a membership assistant here. If you haven't heard from Jenny, you likely will in the coming months she, as she's going to be reaching out to our members. Um, and then also we have Troy Best, uh, who is the VP of Client Relations at the Image Shop. We really could not have done this, launched this new website without the support of Troy and Aaron, especially at the Image Shop. So. Thank you so, so much. We are really, really glad to, be, to have you um, and to have launched this alongside you. Um, and it looks like to our president here, Hannah Schultz has joined. And uh, she, I don't know if she's going to speak directly to what we have, but do wanna uh, say hi to her and she'll um, be helping us as we navigate this new site. Uh, a few different logistics too before we begin um, and really dive into why we have the new localfirst.com um, and it's really different robust features that we're excited to share with you. We are going to be recording this um, so that if you have questions later on or want to double back and uh, check out what this space is, is and how to navigate it, we're going to be launching that on our blog. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, we're going to cover various pieces of the website today. So we have all of these really beautiful uh, different tabs and menu options here on our site, and we're just gonna help walk you through that, as well as our new robust member hub and how you can be a part of it, get in it, edit it, um, and really make that your own. Um, and so the other thing I just wanna to mention too is that we do have our uh, chat function up and running. So if you have questions about the new website or anything that we are walking through, we want to address the pertinent ones here today. If we don't get to all of your questions, we will be sure to uh, loop back around after the webinar today and just make sure we are answering any questions that folks have. Um, so please do use that and Jenny will help us call out anything that we can help answer today. Um, as we begin, uh, Mika, do you want to just take it from here and tell us a little bit more about the vision for the website um, and why we've launched the new localfirst.com? Yeah, happy to, thank you. Thanks everybody for being here. Um, so uh, this new website has been a long time in the making. I think we've been working um, on the nuts and bolts for about a year, um, but uh, the hopes and dreams have definitely been around for a lot longer than that. Um, and in fact, I think, I don't know if he's, he's joined in yet, but I do want to call out a one Mr. Uh, Tony Wilder Pizzoli, um, who was definitely part of those initial hopes and dreams. So, hey, Tony, thanks for all your hard work. Hopefully you see a lot of your ideas here. Um, as I was saying, uh, a lot of this has been on the, on the wish list for a long time, and it's um, been partly because of you, your, our members and our community. Um, we've been hearing a lot of feedback about what you need out of this sort of a resource, um, and all of this became even more important, as we all know, back in March. So members, we heard from you that you wanted a place to promote your events, promote your, um, your goings on, your discounts, all these different things that you have going on. And the consumer really wanted a one-stop one shop to all these, different, all these different opportunities. So hopefully um, we came through on that. Um, uh, the, pan the pandemic did uh, unfortunately delay this project a little bit, but on the upside that gave us some flexibility to um, uh, include some features that we probably wouldn't have before, such as online ordering and curbside and outdoor patio and things, and things like that, things that have become super meaningful. Um, so we hope that this resource really makes it effortless to, uh, for, for local people in, in West Michigan to support our business community. Um, and with that, Troy, you want to walk us through this, this first homepage? Unmute yourself, please. One job. Give me one <laughs> to speak and can't even do that. Well, so thanks for having me here today. Uh, as, as Mika and, and Kathleen have both said, these, this has been a long anticipated uh, launch of a, of a very big site. Uh, it's been 
it's been fun to produce uh, both with my team internally, but also with um, the good people there at Local First. It's, it's been a great collaboration. And I think we got a great product here. So with that, I just want to kind of um, walk through uh, the the features of the site. Keep in mind uh, as we're building this, this is this is all for you guys. This is this is well, you know what, eighty twenty, Mika. You know the the. We, we wanted to create a great tool for membership um, and for the public, but also we wanted to create uh, something for Local First that uh, was easy to use and didn't become a full-time job. So um, one of the things that we wanted to do was, was our focus was the, the membership. So I'm just going to, as I'm talking through stuff, I just want to kind of key in on, on why that's important. Uh, the top of our list, though, is the is the navigation and the um, search up in the top right. The top right includes a search for uh, the total site. And you drop that down, you do a search, and you're going to come to a results page. Uh, and this is a new updated search um, functionality in this uh, version of EE. That's our uh, content management system the site is built in. And... Uh, this allows um, the results to display across many different pieces and in some cases or a lot of cases anyway it's the actual content so if you were to type in the image shop the image shops directory listing or a blog that might be featured in there would show up uh, but that's so that's site-wide uh, down if you stroll down a little bit further you start your you've got a big splash area for uh, membership photos and uh, Mika and her team they've got lots of great ideas on how they're going to utilize that both now and in the future uh, but that brings you to the to the real meat of of the site and that's the directory uh, everyone um, uses the directory for a variety of, of functions and and membership uh, is going to get uh, quite a boost out of this this new tool uh, but so you could click on directory up in the navigation, or if you wanna just get, dig right into it, you can go and, and search for the name of a business right there in that search area. And just keep in mind that search area is for the directory specific, as are the little filter types that are across that same bar, uh, business type. Uh, and those, those are all uh, the same categories that were available in the, in the last iteration of the site. Uh, neighborhood that is new to this site and that is um, populated through the CRM uh, feature that is also integrated into the site uh, and that when you apply for your membership uh, you can put that in but you can also update that uh, and then there's the ownership type which is also new and right now we've got uh, what you see there family owned to employee owned and that's just another way for you to be able to go in and find the businesses and, and uh, organizations that are in your neighborhood, uh, in the industry or the vertical that you're looking for. And um, if you have a preference for minority or employee or veteran, you can then filter it out that way. So if you're a member of Local First, uh, that's something that you're gonna need to go in and update uh, to make sure that you can filter that way. So right now there might not be a lot uh, if you were to search solely by that thing, uh, but as as members get in and start updating their directory listing, uh, that will be uh, even more valuable. So um, you can click on all those filters and then hit the little magnifying glass tool and that will pop up uh, filtered results for all of those. Um, I don't know, you probably don't have a screen for that. Um, I have some examples here later, so we can dig into that, but we'll keep scrolling down the, the homepage here and then go into some specifics in a minute. Okay. So uh, we also built a feature in here that's, that's some very large buttons, browse our directory, become a member. Uh, and that's fairly obvious, but also just keep in mind that those might change from time to time. It might be um, something new, um, or there might be an option to scroll through and uh, there might be a third option or a fourth option. So. Uh, just keep in mind that that uh, just don't just don't disregard those big red buttons in the middle. Mm -hmm. All right, so we we scroll down. We've got a nice feature area for 
uh, why local first with links off uh, for more information uh, and a graphic there uh, that I'm you've seen in uh, a couple different formats in the past. Uh, and then as we scroll down, here's an opportunity for announcements. And uh, right now there's two in there. Virtual Fork Fest, uh, I'm sure we're all gonna need to, do we have to register for that? Um, details are gonna be launching for that here in a, just a couple of days. So there won't be a physical event, but there will be lots of ways to support local food. Okay, so this is, this is an area where uh, Local First can go and promote uh, both their activities, member activities, events, just to say hi, whatever they wanna do. This spot is, is where you wanna, uh, another key area you wanna key in on and uh, links off to more information is available there. Mm -hmm. As we scroll down, we have a shift your spending campaign that allows Local First again to feature members um, and it may be shift your spending this season, it may be a holiday campaign, uh, it, it could be a variety of different things, but it allows, again, this is another way for Local First to be able to promote its membership and its activities. Um, look at that, more membership. Uh, logos there uh, for localist partners, and uh, those are editable, they're gonna change, except for the Image Shop one, that's always gonna be right there. That's programmed in, they can't even change it if they want to. <laughs> uh, below that on the, uh, on the homepage is uh, sponsored uh, ads. Uh, so that this is a chance for membership to put an ad uh, in one of three different locations at the moment. Uh, this homepage uh, we can populate uh, in those three positions. They will, uh, as you refresh the page, so if you were to go to an about page and then come back to the homepage, it's very likely that those ads are going to change. And um, yeah, so that's that's one of three spots there. Uh, simple footer um, with uh, sign up, contact, and your social. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks, Dre. Huge, huge, huge props to the Image Shop for making this brand more modern and helping our website just function so smoothly and um, really incorporating a bunch of SEO so that you are at the forefront. We're really excited about that. Um, I also realized I forgot to introduce myself. I do that all the time in my intro. So um, I think I know most of the folks who are joining us, but for those who I do not, I'm Kathleen and I sit on the membership team here. Um, as Troy kind of mentioned before too, um, when you use these search functions, you can pull up a multitude of different things. So we have a lot of searchability between the site-wide piece, the directory piece right on the home page. When you use the directory, you can also go to our menu option here and it will pull up a screen that looks like this. I've already filtered it so that we're looking at farms and producers, kind of a shout out and nod to our Forkfest campaign that's going to be launching here in a couple of days. So definitely stay tuned. We're really excited about some local eats in October. Um, and if you scroll down, you can see that there are a lot of different options here. When you're just looking at all of our business listings, you'll see image content, who the business is, all of their categories. Again, these are input by you and we'll go into more detail about that. Ways they can contact you, consumers or businesses alike. And if you were to scroll down to Troy mentioned some of our different ad features, we actually have ad features within the directory as well. So you can choose if you want this to be directory wide or if you want this to be category wide. So we do have, for instance, an ad up and running here from Fruit Ridge Farm Markets that is category wide. So you can choose how you want folks to find your, your business, how to target it. Um, if we were to click on any one of these, we would see even more information about the business. I have an example of that here for Local First. So when you first click on a business that you're interested in learning more details about, you'll see this interactive map. You can play around with this, drag it, find where the business is at. If you have multiple locations, multiple of these little tags will pop up and tell you where those businesses are. Um, we've done our best to input all of those if you pull this ahead of time via your applications or your previous updates with us. However, not all of this will be in there potentially, as Troy mentioned, so you will want to make sure you're logging into your member hub and updating all of that information. 
If you scroll down, you'll see our business directory listing. These are definitely things that were available in our previous site. So our image, where you're at, how people can get a hold of you and about your business. Definitely we wanna incorporate those in this site and make them more robust for you. So we actually have a bunch of features here that are new for members and we definitely want, we wanna highlight those for you. Um, so you have an option to put in your business description and also a longer description. Local First AC doesn't have that right here, but it is an option available to you if you have further detail. You can also let a consumer or business know what your features are. This is again kind of a pandemic nod um, because we now intentionally need to know more about businesses who are available via appointment or delivery or in store. And so this is a way that you can find that detail. It's also something that you can search. Um, so definitely input that information if applicable to your business. These are all of our various options here. A business can also now include different events. Um, so these are two local first event offerings that we have coming up. You're all here for our online directory walkthrough. Thank you. Um, and then we have this upcoming event. So you can input those. They can be business, or business events, so events for other members. Mika's gonna go into some further, further detail for this of ways that you can input events. But essentially, they'll be available for the public. You can do member-specific items. We'll have all of those on our events tab as well. So I encourage you to check that out. You can also let folks know if you have a discount, giveaway, an opportunity really available for them to plug into. So Local First has input a discount opportunity that folks can check out, read through. Um, you can even determine if this is going to be a public-facing discount or a member-facing discount. So available for both options. Um, something to consider for those who want to interact more in the business to business space and the business, consumer, the business to consumer facing space. And then lastly, we have a gallery here too. So if you're interested in adding more images about your business so that folks can learn who you are or what you're about or just get a snapshot of that, you can do that as well. These images here are um, highlighting our giveaway that is in the discount section. So definitely check this out. And as I mentioned, we're gonna go into further detail about the member hub here in a little bit so you'll see how you can input all of this information but we've worked really hard to make sure that this would be a robust way that a business or a consumer can come to your business listing or search our directory find you and learn about how they can engage with you um, Mika do you want to talk a little bit more about that event space and how folks can input their events or I'm sorry how they'll show up really on our space yeah absolutely thanks um, let me get my notes out here Going out of order, Kathleen. <laughs> That's okay. Did I jump? That's all right. That's all right. It, it makes sense. Okay. Um, so yes, the events, um, like I mentioned before, one of the largest pieces of feedback that we kept getting is that members wanted a place to show off their events. Um, and our, our last website, that there just wasn't a really good way to do that. But um, that was while we were designing this, that was at the forefront of our, of our mind. So um, in the member hub, you'll be able to put in these different, these different events and we have them categorized as you can kind of see in that yellow bar up there. Uh, Kathleen, if you want to click on those, yes. So we have signature member events and community events. Um, signature events are local first events. So those are the annual events that we host every year. Um, obviously things are looking a bit differently this year, but those include Forkfest and the annual meeting, um, and then um, our different campaigns. So the, the holiday campaign, and then some of you may be familiar with the um, Independence Week campaign that we did this past summer. Um, so those are, that's what the, the signature events are. Um, the member events are member exclusive events. So those are for only for members. So those include things like mixers. Um, I think the coffee hours are not exclusive to members, but they are for people that are considering membership. Um, and then the community events are, are both local first events, but also member events that are for the community. Um, so that's where that's where our member businesses events are going to come through and, and live on this calendar as well as in the member listing. So there'll be a, a couple different places that people can find them. Um, I think that covers the events. Um, you want me to go back to the about page or should we move on? Oh, to the blog next. Uh, Let's go to the blog next. Okay. The only other feature here that I would mention is our events are going to be interspersed with all the events that are input here on the regular 
localfirst.com events page, so in our tab here above, and they're going to show up by date. Um, and then the blog. Yes. So the blog um, is actually through a different platform. It's going to live on our uh, platform called HubSpot. And um, it's, as you can see on the side, a lot more searchable than the other one was. Um, so you can kind of see at a glance all these different pieces of information. This is where we're going to post time sensitive um, and relevant updates for both members and consumers. Um, so this is where things like the webinars are going to live. And um, obviously you can see marketing tips from our guest bloggers. So this is where that sort of content is going to live. Um, another neat feature about this, this blog is that you're going to be able to subscribe to it. So um, you'll be able to get updates as soon as we post them. So it'll be, you know, not, not as robust as our, as our newsletters, but definitely um, still relevant content for you and your business. Awesome. Um, and then as we've mentioned and alluded to, we have this really great robust member hub um, that we are eager for you to get into. We have campaigns upcoming like Forkfest, like the holiday campaign that are going to usher businesses and consumers to the directory. So the more that you're in here playing around, updating your page, and um, the more that folks are going to learn about your business and um, be able to engage with you. Um, we did send out some communications, I believe last week on the 18th, with how to log in. It's a little, if you're registering, it is a different process than going back in to log in. Um, and so if you did not receive that communication or have questions about how to register, please do reach out to us at membership at localfirst.com and we can make sure that you get into your account or update information that is needed in order for you to get into your account. Um, but if you are registered already and you're going to log into your member hub, we have this member hub login here on the upper right hand corner above the site search button. Um, and this is where you would come to log in. Uh, so we have our login here for Local First. So when we log in, we're going to see as we walk through the directory, uh, there are lots of different details there that you can update. And this is where you will make all of those updates. So if you need to add in new addresses, if you need to update your phone number, if you want a new image, if you have discounts, all of those things can be found here. Uh, so as you scroll down, it's going to automatically show you on your dashboard your business information. You can just click right in here, edit any of those fields as necessary. And then you'll have to hit submit at the bottom for all of those to save. But these are all the details for your business description that you can update. You can go down and find your website, your Facebook, all of your social handles. LinkedIn is a new feature that we're including on this site. So if you have a LinkedIn page, we likely have not gathered this information for you. This is one of those things you'll need to go in and update for businesses. And then below your categories. Uh, so again, this came from your applications and your updates over the years. But if you want to update your category, we have these drop down menus. And so if we decided that, for instance, we didn't, this was not the best description for Local First, we could update it to the most up-to-date description or business category for us. And you can actually choose three different options here for your category. So again, this is just part of that search function to make it highly searchable for you. Um, as Troy mentioned, the neighborhood piece is new for us. Um, so again, we may have some of this information here, but we'll need you to update this so that we can search for your business by your neighborhood. Um, and so you'll choose the neighborhood or neighborhoods um, that make the most sense for your business. And the way that you do that is um, by clicking command or control um, and selecting multiple. Could I, could I jump in real quick on the, the neighborhood? Uh, one, one thing that uh, we didn't anticipate uh, when, we were, when we were thinking about this is um, what we're seeing is some of the members that have jumped in they're literally picking every neighborhood, you know, because they can service every neighborhood. And, um, and that, you know, intuitively makes sense. But um, if you can think back to when we were looking at that page, uh, the directory listing shows a little, a little um, tag uh, for your listing. So if, you know, you've got five locations or 10 locations and you click that, uh, it'll, it's going to say Wyoming, Grand Rapids, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, uh, which is good. And that's, that was the intention. Uh, but uh, I would, I would just um, 
urge you to just kind of put the your um, physical locations in there uh, because if you had all 36 uh, different designations in there it just drags your listing out and, and then nobody sees the actual content that that is really important more so than you know I, I think uh, the intent is that everyone understands that you are, are, are willing to do business with with all areas um, but that's just a little helpful kind of a, a neighborhood sorting feature but um, anyway, that's all I want to say about that. Oh, no, that is helpful to know because it does grow your listing to be quite long if you have all of those there. Right. Um, one thing I did kind of hop over I want to go back and mention is that we have had in previous years, oh, I skipped right over it again, um, in our business descriptions, which I think actually is down here below, so I was getting to it. Okay. Um, our business descriptions we've had in past years um, keyword terms that you could search in uh, or put input so that member businesses or consumers could find you more easily, like gifts or tires or um, lawn care, whatever that may have been for your business. Um, this business description snippet is also going to act alongside the information that you're putting in as a way that businesses or people can search for you. Um, so think about the keyword terms or think about the searchability of that as you're entering in your business description. That's going to be really helpful or a helpful mind frame for thinking about information to put here as well. And then jumping back up, um, we have these features as well. Again, these three areas, the neighborhood, the features, and ownership, you need to use that control button to select multiple. So you can decide what the best way is for somebody to support your business here, if that's an appointment or a storefront, depending on what is applicable for you. Um, the ownership, this is based on uh, the type of ownership of your business. And again, it's a searchability piece of our new site. So if you're family owned, veteran owned, woman owned, minority owned, or employee owned, make sure that you go in here and click what is applicable for you. Um, we chatted a little bit here about the business description. We also have below this longer description, Local First didn't have this as an example, but this is another place that you can put information in and really um, help people understand what your business is about or just give some up-to-date information about your business here too. And then we mentioned as well, if you have additional addresses, um, that you can input those here. Just make sure you hit this little plus button and you'll see that you can input a number of addresses if your business has that. Make sure you hit submit on this page um, so that all of that can be saved. And then we also have a few different options here. So if you scroll back up to the top, this is all of your business information that you can update. There's an image gallery. So this is where Local First has updated those three images that correspond to our giveaway. Um, once you get to this page, if you are updating some images, um, please know that your listing image here and images that you upload here, they work best if they are a square image. So they may not be centered in the image here if you upload it and it's more rectangular. Um, we do have the details 600 by 600 and more listed here um, so that you can reference those. And this is similar to that address piece. Um, make sure you click the plus button if you are interested in adding an additional image into your directory listing. The events tab um, can help you upload, again, those events that you want to host for the community, for other businesses um, in general. You can pop in here. This is the event that we already have up and running. Um, the events, I should say. Uh, if you scroll down, you can create a new event. So you'll want to title your event, uh, add the event date. This is also going to auto-populate a time. Um, you can leave or take that out. Oh, actually, take that out because I see we have event time here. So be more specific in that space. Um, and then events have an expiration date. This is not required. Um, if you put your expiration date in here, this is going to tell the site the day that you want to take your event down or have your event closed. If you do not fill out the expiration date, you'll need to manually log back into your account um, and hit open or closed. Closed if your event is over. You can also add details about where your event is located, general details, an event snippet. So think about these things to event features. If you have um, if you have an in-person event, maybe specifically in the pandemic time, and you want to talk about your safety that you're implementing, if you want to tell people where to park, um, if you want to tell people anything that they need to specifically know um, about the event that you were hosting, these are places where you can do that. And of course, you can also um, upload an event image here as well. And then event specific instructions are here too. 
um, plus a URL if there is a place that folks can go to RSVP. Um, and then there is a submit button at the bottom again, really important for your event information to be saved. So if we scroll back up, uh, the next feature here is discounts. So here is Local First current discount that is available. Uh, if you scroll down, you can edit that discount or add a new one. This has a lot of similar features to what you saw before for the events. Um, so you'll want to make sure that you add the title of your discount, the expiration date. This one does not have a closed function. Um, so you'll need to come back and expire or you'll have to have an expiration date for your event. There's a description, you can add a code, say if it's for members only, and then is it an in-store, online discount, all of those are available to you. And again, submit anything that you would like to be saved here. And then the last piece is our payment portal function. So this is where if you click it, you see that you've come to a new page. Our payment portal page is separate from our member hub, but this is one way that you can get to the payment page. Uh, and this is where you can pay your membership dues, pay outstanding invoices, donate. These opportunities are going to be rotating as they're available. Um, so do be sure to, to check that out and click here for updated opportunities, just like our announcements will update on things that you can participate in or that the public can participate in. Um, and of course, you can also log out of our, of our page as well. Uh, let me just double check. I haven't missed any important pieces for you. I believe that is that's everything for the member hub. So if there were specific questions or uh, team, if I miss anything that you think should be highlighted here, do jump in. The other piece that I just want to reinforce is that we do have a lot of this data already uploaded uploaded for your business here in the directory. But please go check it out. Make sure that everything that you want there is there as we begin our campaigns here in the next couple of months, um, and that you're updating so many new opportunities that we don't have information for prior to the uh, website launching. So those are the big pieces. So questions, team, did we miss anything that also should be covered here? I'll just throw out a quick reminder that we will be providing a link to this recorded webinar following today's meeting. Um, I know some folks may have had some connection issues with their audio and video, but we will have a nice smooth file to share uh, after today in case you want to review this. Yes, that's right. Thank you, Jenny. Thanks, Jenny. Um, there were some tabs too here that we didn't prioritize and I highly encourage you to go check those out too. We have some really robust information about what we do, why we do it, who is here on the team as an advocate for you and your business, um, as well as ways that you can take action. And of course, the way to join um, as a consumer, a localist, um, and a member. And we do have information about that here on the buttons that Troy pointed out. Anything else, team? Did we, did we mention the tutorials that are going to be coming out as well? I have not yet, but that is a good segue. While we're wrapping up, we just wanted to um, not only remind you that there will be a link for this here, uh, but we are working with a member business, Social Biz, who is helping us create tutorials for how to access your member hub, whether that's registering or inputting any of the information that we've gone over. Um, all of that, the link to this and those smaller tutorial videos are going to be available here on our blog um, in a very short period of time. So do check that out if you have questions. Of course, reach out to the membership team if you're having any issues getting into the member hub. Um, we can support you and definitely learn alongside you as we're all working to optimize this tool, um, especially amid times where we're more uh, digital and virtual than that. So we want to make this really robust for you. Um, if there's nothing else, just thank you so much for being here, for learning about this tool.